Welcome to the Truth Hub. In John chapter 8, verse 32, the scripture reads, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This is the inspiration behind the Truth Hub. It seeks to bring hope to the sincere seeker of the truth in this age of information overload. And it's all anchored on the on infallible Word of God. Today we will attempt to answer the question, what is success? A generic definition of success says that it is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. And if we want to go by this definition, a good premise to begin our discussion today is to ask ourselves the question, what is the purpose of my life? What is the purpose of your life? Uh, while there are so many answers to this question, I want to propose to you the most reliable question, I mean the re most reliable answer, which is in the Word of God. We read in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. Dear friend, this text makes uh, two assertions that is very fundamental to our discussion this day. The first one is that you and I were created by a loving God with a definite purpose. Our lives is not a product of chance. It has a definite purpose. And the second assertion is that it provides this purpose, namely to glorify God in all that we do which means we have to keep the commandments of God, as he says, is the whole duty of man. And that implies that in our daily interactions with our spouses, our family members, our friends, our colleagues, and wherever we find ourselves, we need to reflect the glory of God. We need to reflect the character of God so that um, that way we are fulfilling the essence of our existence. And in fact, the verse that follows in verse 14 tells us that God will bring every walk into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or evil. And that means that someday you and I will be evaluated as to the extent to which we have fulfilled this purpose of our lives, because that is when we can be truly accounted as having been successful. So the big question of life and success is, how am I fulfilling the purpose of my existence? How am I pointing those around me to Jesus Christ, to God, the creator of my life? When you do this, then you would begin to experience a successful life. And I invite you to join me in our next edition when we talk about how to have good success. God bless you. And remember, you can send your comments and questions to the contact on screen. God bless you.